So I know you really can't see this video. Um, I'm kind of in the dark here, and uh, I can't find the car lights. Oh, there we go. Uh, let's turn on. There we go. Um, I saw last night uh, My Hero Academia Heroes Rising. Uh, I'm going to be honest with you guys. I'm not a crazy anime person. I do not watch that much anime. The, my problem with anime is it is very difficult for me to find time to already watch the stuff I watch. And it's crazy that I say that because I watch a lot of content. I probably watch close to 200 movies every three months. Um, so I watch a lot of movies. I review a lot of movies. I buy a lot of movies. I watch Netflix. I watch Hulu. You know, I watch all these different streaming services and things like that too. And um, anime is a very time-consuming medium. Uh, not only like I'd have to sit like anime. You cannot look away from a second. You have to give it all your time, patience, and things like that. And I like Studio Ghibli movies. I have not seen them all. Unfortunately, they're very expensive. It's very expensive to collect anime, and it is a medium as primarily in Japan. So, of course, I don't get to see a lot of the content of from that medium. And uh, I want to watch more anime. I, you know, and see more anime in theaters and different stuff. But it's very difficult, very expensive. It was twelve dollars and fifty cents, fifty uh, cents to get into this movie, just for my ticket. And that's more than I pay any time I go to the movies. Um, I, I've i never seen My Hero Academia. So this is going to be a, f a perspective from someone who's clearly not seen the show. But I'm guessing this is a very similar situation to the Dragon Ball series. Where a lot of the movies are not canon. They do not matter. You do not have to watch them. They are not... Um, important movies. Uh, there are some that actually do change the canon and and contribute to the rest of the show. But you can watch this and not, and it doesn't contribute to the show. It, in fact, the ending of this movie literally resets everything, which is just kind of ridiculous and it's really stupid. Um, I I guess this island must be an important plot point in the show or series or whatever. I don't know. I I could tell I like some of the character dynamics, like Deku and. Uh, Daku, Dakugo, or I don't know. I don't know these characters' names. Um, I think it's a cool idea. I think these heroes that are up and coming, you know, these kids are up and coming heroes and stuff. It's a really cool concept. It's an interesting series. I don't know if it was necessarily um, my thing. I do want to check out the series and start watching it, and I will be, and I have already started doing that. Um, I'm, a, and it's a pretty cool show, but. I don't know. It's cool and all. I watched like the first episode, but you know, obviously there's a lot more seasons to be checking out because I think it's on its fourth season now or it hasn't premiered its fourth season. Um, it's a pretty cool series, cool concept. It's got great music and stuff, but I can tell I need to see the movie or the series to understand this movie. I under and I also saw it in Japanese, which just made it even harder. It's in Japanese with English subtitles, which normally I don't mind, but something like this, where I had to have seen a previous show and it's not in the language that I speak, just makes it all the more difficult. It is so freaking funny that uh, this happened, but I I saw it because I wanted to. I kind of wanted to check it out and see if like if I can get into the series this way, because that's kind of how I. I got into um, Dragon Ball a little bit. I saw the Broly movie. I knew the basic plot elements of Dragon Ball. Like, I've seen parts of the series, but I didn't see it all. And I got to see more of it. I became a bigger fan of it. And I was, it was like, Dragon Ball is my jam after that. And it, it still is. I haven't collected the series because it is very expensive. And I'm waiting for the Dragon Ball to come out on Blu-ray. But yeah, I'm kind of just filming this in the car. I don't really know why. I, I, I don't have to make a video on this. And I originally wasn't going to, but I just decided it'd be cool. And uh, this mustache is pretty darn... It's pretty darn sexy. It looks really dark from where it is on the camera. And it looks like I have like a patch in here. And so this is like... I don't know. That is just weird. I, I, 
I need to shave. I really do. Like, I'm getting hairy. <laughs> I don't know why I'm saying this on camera. But I am. And, uh, hey, this is just how my videos normally are. So if you like that thing and you find it sexy, subscribe. Because I'm sexy all day and all night. Now that this video is made all awkward and creepy, subscribe, like, share, subscribe. Don't actually, uh, try not to tell your friends that you're watching. Because I won't tell. Me. Mm. <laughs> oh, I kill myself. Not literally, because that would be painful. <laughs>